What was this Atlanta like when you came back down here to this city, though, man? When I came back home, you, that's when uh, All Star Weekend. That's mm -hmm. when I arrived back. You remember All Star yeah. Weekend came? That when Fifty Cent came out. Yeah. With the, uh, it was totally new mm -hmm. to me. Like it didn't look the same. Yeah. And a lot of people I was meeting, they would say, "Yeah, come up, come to my house, do a little week." Record. I'm like, okay, where you from, though, homie? Uh, I'm from Vegas. What the fuck are you doing here? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they call that the New Atlanta. Yeah, the yeah. New, new Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. All these dudes, people yeah. wasn't from here, and I was meeting people from there. I'm like, who are these people from? Yeah. And I'm looking at people from Atlanta, like, what is y'all doing? How is it possible that these people are taking off further than y'all taking off, and this is your background? This is your backyard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is something that was created here. Like, we ain't create music. Yeah. But we create our own movement. Yeah. Right. So how is they making the movement bigger than you making it in this your backyard? Mm. Yeah. That's how I looked at it. So then how did you go about penetrating it and creating your own movement at the same time? I just read that with Block. Okay. Oh, you when I told the block, then he was like, I'm gonna help you guys. You, you rapping for real? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so he started helping it, and, and I started just doing mixtapes. Mm -hmm. I started doing mixtapes. I kept doing mixtapes. I did uh, like 140 some mixtapes by myself. No PR, no nothing. See, I was doing everything like myself. Yeah. Now the PR people came to me. Mm hmm. They came on Ellie down. They, I yeah. ain't look with them. They came to me because I was moving by myself. Yeah. I was doing everything myself. I got to it. I had to. Mm -hmm. And that's when with Shoulder, he he respected it. Mm -hmm. And that's how I mean him robbed. So when you linked up with Tip though, man, I mean mm -hmm. Grand Hustle Muscle in this thing. Mm -hmm. At that point, we got one of the hottest labels in the game, mm -hmm. man. Hottest movements in the game. What was mm -hmm. going through your mind at that time when you realized that, hey, man, this team can't get no stronger than this? It's finna go down. <laughs> That's what I would think. It's finna go down. I'm finna eat. Yeah. And I'm finna make sure everybody around me need to eat. Yeah. It's going down. That's what was going through my head. Yeah. Mama, look at me, mama. I made it. You feel me? Yeah. You, you, pr you proud. Anybody, I don't care how old you is, you make it. Yeah. You, you, you want to know, your, your children. Yeah. Your wife, or your, or your, or your significant other, mm -hmm. your mama, Go dad on. and all them, sister, so brother, you want to man, I did it, bro. We did it. We finna do something now. We finna yeah. do something now, something right. We Come finna on. break the generational curse. It finna happen. Exactly. Finally finna happen for it, like on good time. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it, man. Come on. Talk to me. I, I want to know what those sessions was like. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, take me inside, you know what I'm saying? You, Grand Hustle, y'all, y'all, uh, studio sessions. What was that like back then? Let's tell every, all of us was, all of us had our own, like, you can't look at now artists that was over there and they signed the design. Mm. Tell me an artist on that, that was on that label that signed the design. Right. None of us sounded the same. The first hit song that I know I came out of that studio with, and uh, what's his name? He was DJing right there in Buckhead with Oom Count. Monte or Jelly? Monte. Mm -hmm. Monte, yeah. Monte Shout out to Monte, too. Well, just, had a little, just had a little baby. Monte. Yeah. Monte, the first song he played, the first night I ever played it in the club, it was a hit. That was the West Side OG. Mm. Me, Shouter, yeah, Matt Boner, Killer, yeah, and Killer Mike. Mm. The West Side OG. That was the first thing. When they threw it on, it seemed like everybody on the damn floor threw it down. <laughs> <laughs> everybody was like, Monte looked at me, he said, Got one. Got one. Exactly. Better than did. He said, You want the mic? You want to perform? And I said, Yes, sir. Let's yeah. Get that mic. <laughs> Let me get wow. that mic. And it, I, I, and it felt good to me, man. Yeah. Man, that felt like, like for real, bro. That was first, he won the first DJ and broke that song, bro. D first for real. Mm. Being in Atlanta at that time, though, because, you know, I like to talk about that time in Atlanta is what a time to be alive. Of course. What was it like being alive and in the mix at that time? It was going down. <laughs> you talk what it was like. What it was like. You know it was going down. Shoot. Come on, man. 
Demetri was here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was going down. My God. It was going, they, 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 they weren't just the only ones that were yeah. getting money, that were living in. Yeah, all of us was, we might not been doing what he was doing, yeah. but it was going down every night. In Atlanta, it was not not a night that you couldn't go out nowhere in Atlanta. You remember them days? Mm-hmm. You every night exactly, and then it's gonna go down into the daybreak. Facts. It ain't going down at one or two in the morning. It daybreak. You coming out like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. Well, it's daylight out there, man. But, 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 but you know something? Nobody really. And, and this thing, the, the the times you talking about? Yes, sir. We might have we might have had a, a few little fights out in the park and like hey, you know, went, might be a little one rusty thirty eight. Yeah. You know, to clear it out or yeah. something. But what you think about the how how the rap changed and how it got to where that today where the kids you know, ain't I, coming I, home I, I, from know, rap. I, I, and when you were sitting up in there, you were seeing all this unfold with the new drill music, with these these I kids think, actually killing I, each I, other I think, behind I it. I think, and I don't, and I'm take responsibility. I ain't gonna blame nobody else on on the on the record. I think that record we put out was the lead of all that thing they doing now. Mm. Mm. Think about it. What record came out that was harder than hurt? Yeah, that was gangster. That talked about all that right there. Living in the dirt, and everybody after that. Think about it. Everybody was doing dance music. Mm-hmm. Everybody was doing good feel, mm-hmm. good yeah. music. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, you know, we balling. We yeah. doing this and that song. You ain't nothing about no. And I got more money than you. Look at the, the, no, yeah. bro. You get wrong. Well, I'm coming, and boy, I was just going in the dirt. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. And it seemed like that was the how you see, how could I how could I word the catalyst mm-hmm. you know, to everything else. My God. And it and I, the first time I seen it that I knew that it was a problem, we performed in Cleveland. Mm. And when I got to my when it came from my verse, I come up out the, out the stage, and when I come up, I turn to the side on the big stage, and I see a dude runs down the thing in the arena. Yeah. But he got like 60 dudes with him. Mm. All on got on black. He's the smallest one, but he's, they, you can see he's their leader. Yeah. Right. He looking at me from the stage, and I'm looking at him. He's rapping my verse word for word. And when Ooh. they say, fit that the front door and fit that the back, he testing his dudes. Pow. <laughs> and I just seen it Everywhere we went, it was like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen, my, I seen, my, I ain't gonna put him out there like that. He played in there. I seen him hit a, hit a DJ in the face with a stack of money because the boy wouldn't play the song again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> we paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> he went trying to disrespect him. Yeah, he yeah. the money hit it, pop. Yeah. yeah. I said, what's your money? You throw it out. <laughs> and then we, we got a cover. This is your song. Yeah, right. We, we, right. Just, we just want the killers. We want the killers to come. I said, oh, you shouldn't tonight. <laughs> you shouldn't. I come up out of Mass City. I dipped up out of Mass City. I said, they yeah. tripping in on that song, bro. Yeah. Boom. And, and that's how I look at it. And I, and I started hurting because I was like, D boys really. Trying to live what this is saying, yeah, and they don't start making music now f- the way they feel like if I ain't lived this shit or did this shit, ain't nobody gonna think I'm real, right? Mm-hmm. Now you putting yourself in a predicament to send yourself to motherfucking penitentiary mm-hmm. forever because mm-hmm. you want to. The people they, they, they can't validate you, bro. Yeah, it's entertainment, right? Mm-hmm. This is real life. Right. This is not a video game. You can't put no another chord in this bitch and start back over. Mm. Yeah. You can't match reset either. Mm. Yeah. So I and, and, and add into Katrina with New Orleans when they start going mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, you have a goddamn a catastrophe waiting in motherfucking happening. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.